Hello, today is April 23rd, so we read Proverbs 23 and Isaiah 49. So in Proverbs 23, I like verse, um, what is it? Work not to be rich, where is it? Verse 4? Mm, yeah, labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. It's not uh, wise to work for money, especially because... The more you worry about the money, then the less time you have to focus on other things because we are more selfish with our money than we are with our time. And money is the one thing that we can get more of, but time is the one thing that is irreplaceable. So it's more so like, I guess you should be stingy with your time than anything else than being greedy with your money. Amen. In verse 5, in continuation of that, it says, what's the point? Because when you acquire all of these toys, trinkets, stuff, riches make itself with wings and it flies away. Now, of course, not literally, but you leave it to someone else. So it's better to invest in the things that really matters. What you do for Christ will last. Because this time vanishes quickly. But what you place into someone's life, that matters. Amen. Relationship. And that has something to do with Isaiah 49. Because you were asking me tonight, you know, as far as the income. Well, how come you're not making like seven figures or what have you? Or whatever. Uh, you said eight figures or six figures or whatever. But the point is that... It's so important for you to do the will of the Lord. And it was confirmed in Isaiah 49 because the Lord was like, Michelle, listen, mm -mm. in verse one, I have called you from your mother's womb and I made mention of your name. I have an assignment just like he has an assignment for you, for you. It's not about so much. He'll reward you temporarily while you're down here, but in the meantime, you might feel like you're hidden, like, wow, you know, I'm obscure. It's okay. The Lord is polishing you and he still is forming you. Verse three says, thou art my servant and I will be glorified. It's not about what you get out of the work, but it's because that I made you for myself. My God shall be my strength. Yes, you have made me Lord. And my heart says, amen. And in verse 10, his promise is that he will continue to lead us and he will provide and even have springs of water, refreshment. Hey, that goes back to Psalms 23 this morning, that he'll lead us in paths of righteousness in green pastures and still waters. And he will lead us in the path that he wants us to go so that he'll be glorified. What did you get out of Isaiah 49? Uh, verse... I forgot which one it was. It was similar to one in Proverbs. Uh, four, four. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I spent my strength for naught. So it's not wise to spend your your time doing things that won't profit you later. Um, it's better to use the effort or the abilities you have now for things that will uh, help instead of... Uh, I don't know, things that won't profit at all. In the long run. And the bottom line is when we wait on the Lord and be of good courage, in verse 23, he says that thou who hope in me and wait for me, they will not be put to shame. They will not be ashamed for trusting in the Lord and looking to him to be your source in everything. Amen. All right. Good night. Good night.